Where's Emil? Virginia knows exactly where he is. Who the hell's Virginia? We just want the key Emil is getting for us. I don't know what you're talking about. What the hell do you unlock? Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and we're here to give our review for Fear of the Walking Dead, episode four, The Key. So, wow. Amazing. First of all, I want to apologize, guys. We did not get a chance to react to this. It's been a busy week. Uh, we will be picking up reactions to the next following episodes, but uh, yeah, it's just been busy for us, guys. What an amazing episode. Garrett Dillahunt, who plays John, amazing. This was, you know, I am so excited for Fear. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I go back and look at season four and parts of season five, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, why couldn't it be? <laughs> why couldn't it have been at this level? The exactly, whole time? it's mm -hmm. so good. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really am. Yeah. Um, for this episode, we get to see John's life and how he's handling. Uh, being at Lawton. We find out he's at Lawton. Yeah, and he's kind of in his police officer role. He's kind of watching guard. It's a, you know, every day you wake up, go to post, wake up, go to post. And what I liked about it is we, we do get to see more of how Ginny operates inside. Um, you know, there's a big mystery going on. There's a lot with Janice, and we'll get to that. But um, John's not really taking good care of himself. Well, you got to I mean, think, man. You think that's the depression? Uh, I mean, yes, I mean, he's... Look, he hasn't yeah. seen June. There was a... You know the timeline, right? Why don't you share yeah. the timeline? Yeah, guys. So we actually did take a time skip. Uh, John said he hasn't seen June in 246 days. That's roughly eight months. In the first episode, Morgan mentioned he's been dealing with his wound for about five to six weeks. So we've now jumped eight months. Um, and I would imagine when we see Grace... She's going to be having a baby. Or <laughs> we haven't seen her it. yet. Or have had it. Yeah. Pretty close. Um, unless they jump backwards to tell that story. And then True. I think we might be jumping back and forth. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, he's had a tooth issue, but you would think in the apocalypse, there's not going to be a lot of toothpaste left. So I think your Dentist? teeth are... Yeah, your teeth are going to be the first to go pretty fast. And yeah, It looked like he had toothpaste. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. It's, something must have went awry and, and you, you know... You're going to get cavities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. But, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's doing his best in the situation that he has, and he's writing letters to June, and that was nice. It was nice to hear him talking to June, at least. At least we as the viewer get to hear him talk to June. I was kind of worried, and of course we learned at the end that Ginny read every single one. I was like, do you really think he's getting these snuck out of here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's uh, Janice is helping him. and uh, I'm just going to get this out now, man. I really dislike her, Ginny. I really I dislike her. I like her. I, honestly, she, I can't oh. stand it when her when she opens her mouth. I really can't. <laughs> and and it's nothing against the actress. Um, I don't think she's that strong of a villain. Um, and I just, bleh, whatever. I think, honestly, there were multiple situations where John could have easily just pulled out his gun and... Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I am on the opposite side from Josh. I actually like the character. There's different levels to her. Yes, of course, everybody has their weaknesses, but I like how they're portraying her at the moment. You know what I mean? She's very witty. She seems to be on point of what's going on. But I just like it where she gives you a smile and you don't know if it's really sincere or she's, if she's just got something going on. She's in the vindictive. Yeah. There's the word. There yeah. it is right there. And I and, and to me, I like that. I um, guess that... I guess. I like that aspect of it. Uh, she's very secretive. Um, she, uh, you can tell she's uh, a tight with certain people. She has a tight group around her, mm -hmm. um, but she will not like. Look, she's already like you could say promoted. I guess Strand and John. Yeah, but she's not giving them information. No, she's just telling them what they need to do. Yeah. Um. So I like that aspect of it. And one thing that I picked up on, I'm not sure you did. They they seem to have different types of keys yep. for different situations kind of like a military uniform they have you know dress fatigues and other things so like they gave strand a gold key john had more of like a bronze copper type key but even Ginny was wearing she wasn't even wearing a gold key until the end like at the end when she was given the presentation to john like she had a very crazy looking well, gold it, key it makes me think that she's got multiple keys for situations yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's 
it's interesting and I would it's like to weird. it's weird but it's like <laughs> you know how many keys are left in this world you'd be like here's a bronze key for this here's oh, a I'm gold sure. key for this I'm sure there's like, no shortage of keys do they have Eugene making keys <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they have a Eugene or something making a key. Uh, but, but yeah, so we get to see the daily life of John. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he's going to that outpost. Um, he's relieving a, a fellow by the name of Cameron, yeah. uh, who is a lovely artist. Yeah. Um, and you can see right off the bat that he's got kind of good banter and a good relationship with Cameron. You know, every time he sees him, he taps him on the shoulder. He smiles yeah. at him and they they switch positions. Yeah. Um, he is going to Janice, our, who was a part of our group before they were separated, yep. um, and is you know, Janice is doing laundry. That's her job. Um, and using Janice to get the notes out to June. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, we also get to see, you know, so unfortunately, Cameron does get killed and in a crazy way. And John wants to investigate it. And he finds some, some things going on that aren't right. But Ginny seems to be like, nope, we're done. We got to keep people safe. Let's just... You know, I don't want you to investigate too crazy. Which and John is, just doesn't feel right about that. Which is crazy because so we predicted that this investigation that John was doing would was actually going to be the investigation of Strand, right? And in in, I, I predicted You predicted that. that and a lot of people in the comments were like, no, he's that that's not going to be it. <laughs> the only reason why I predicted that is because him and Strand get in a fight and I thought that was possibly yeah, it. But yeah. it turns out, no, he's investigating this murder um, and Ginny doesn't... You, Jenny doesn't want him to get too close. Yeah. Now she does work with him and allow him to once he finds um, an earring at uh, at the crime scene. Yeah. Then she decides to say, "Okay, thanks, John. You're on to something." Yeah. And we get to see uh, the Rabbi Jacob Kesner finally. We get to see him. Um. But yeah, it, it was interesting. Um. I mean, basically the sacrifice of Janice. Uh. You know, she was trying to escape. The the earring was in her bag and planted. She did not want she wanted to give up i mean she felt you know she lost her brother tom she did not feel that she wanted to be with the pioneers anymore she was in love with cameron she was in love with cameron and once john was doing the investigation he saw when he was looking at his grave you know that his throat was cut the dude was killed he was murdered and not just pushed into a fence to allow walkers to eat him which is which is why they wanted to get rid of that body so quick so from that fast. crime scene yeah but that's the thing what why did he do something that Ginny found like maybe Ginny found out about him sleeping with Janice and that was his punishment and she did it in a secretive way yeah rather so than... there, there was another clue um John found a little piece of wood chip from a knife from in, a knife in Cameron's hand yep. was able to trace that back to an army with the help of Strand yeah uh to get into the armory you have to check out every weapon <laughs> yeah and uh, unfortunately, there was that was a dead end. Complete the, cover the, up. The, the checkout sheet was ripped out, and yeah. so it's clear that Ginny is hiding something, covering it up. Even her sister tells John she's protecting someone. And I do. I am loving the dynamic of Dakota. Mm -hmm. She is basically on our side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does not like her sister. And every time Ginny interacts with Dakota, it's like Dakota, get in the house, get inside, get inside. <laughs> it's like wow, dude, like. It's like Ginny knows that oh, you, you, she's talking. You know she knows. Yeah. So you I mean, know she knows. It's it's. I can't wait to find out more on the dynamic with uh, with Dakota. But this cover up is strange because it's just making us wonder. Okay, what was the real purpose of killing him? What threat did he pose to you and the pioneers, or was it just because he was sleeping with Janice? Well, him and Janice did have a plan to escape. True. Um, yeah. I'm not necessarily think that that was the motive for killing him, but. It's got to be. I mean, you got to think it's something huge if you're going to plan that. Yeah, there's so, there's something behind it. There is. And um, John wants to get behind it, and I'm hoping that maybe in a different episode he'll dig more into yeah. it. Maybe in June. I was really shocked that Janice was so quick to give up. Now, I know How you lost sad. your brother, and I yeah. know you lost Cameron, but she was very quick to give up. She pretty much knew the minute that she was arrested that this yeah. is the way that Ginny wanted it, and she was going to let it happen. Yeah. Um... I do have to say that when they showed the scene when they had Janice in the jail, I was like, oh, it's not Madison, remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's what people were thinking, it was Madison in the jail. Um, and absolute title screen hype for Fear the Walking Dead. I love their title screen, yeah. anyway. Um, but yeah, and, and the, the most brutal part was Janice's death. Yeah. Because Ginny told John about a different situation of somebody dying that way, of being tied to a tree, having you know, music playing and they were torn apart. 
Oh, and they did that to Janice. You know was, what I love about that brutal. scene is Jenny tells John, I don't want that to be Lawton. Mm -hmm. She tells John that. So what does she do? She does it. She does it yeah. outside of Lawton. Outside of Lawton. Yeah. yeah. It was brutal. And, you know, to for John to end her misery and you could see the pain in his face and, you know, and, and, and then John's attempt to basically before that to break her out knowing that he was possibly going to die and never see June again. You know, Rabbi Jacob is trying to talk him out of it, and John just made up his mind. I'm sitting there like, yeah, John's not dying. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I wasn't worried you're, about you're that. You're not doing that, um, I actually thought it was going to happen. I was scared, though. I, I really was. Not about him dying. Oh. I actually thought he was going to get Janice out and that they were going to get away and that he would meet up with Morgan. Oh, gotcha. I thought yeah. that there was a real possibility that was going to happen. That would be cool. Then you heard the radio. Yeah. And then you saw the radio. Yeah. And you're like, okay, this is it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was insane, guys. Um, so John's part was absolutely amazing. Garrett Dillahunt, again, amazing job as always. We need and, to talk uh, about Strand. We'll, we'll get, yes, we're yeah. getting there right now. Um, uh, Strand, um, I don't think he had any part in telling Ginny about John. I don't know. It you seemed, don't know? It seemed like he knew something. If he did, he's protecting John. Yeah, you know, he's and he even said that to him. He's playing the part. Yeah, still. Mm -hmm. So he may have known that they were going to kill Janice early, but he didn't want to say anything because Strand still has his plan to be kind of uh, a, a deep cover agent inside and not give up his tell. That's kind of how I'm thinking of it. I don't sure. know. Though. No, I completely agree because here's Strand telling Jenny on his own people. Which gains trust. Yeah. If you're willing to rat out your own people mm -hmm. um, that were very strong when when you guys got when they got captured. Yeah. I mean that says a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> the fight was really quick. <laughs> I mean he pistol whipped him and then you know rolled around. John was going to shoot him, time. dude. He, John wanted, he wanted, wanted was going him. to kill him. He wanted to kill him. So it'll be it it'll be interesting to see kind of how they make up with each other and everything, but. Uh, June arrives because John now, after uh, Ginny portrays him as the man who figured out the murderer after they killed Janice, she is giving him a declaration that he is the man. Here is a new key, a gold key, which I guess is a higher rank and you have more responsibilities. And she brings June back to him. And uh, what was great because when she said she read the letters, John's letters were never negative. They were always positive. Like, I think this can work here. Yeah, I, mean, I think it can work. He actually says, look, this place has value. There yeah. hasn't been a death in 200 and some 246, I think he says, yeah. days. Um, and, and so he's he's giving, you yeah. know, valid points that this is working. And, and June's must have been yeah. at least the same. Yeah. She didn't mention anything, uh, but we'll we see. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> but uh, to, see, to see June come back and, you know, for him... It, you could just see the elation on his face. He was just, oh my God, was I can't great. believe it. But it also, do you think that he's more scared now? Because she's now there. And with if Ginny, if Ginny can kill a man and murder a man and cover it up, like if he feels like if he makes a mistake, she's going to go after what he loves the most, yeah. which yeah. is June. I mean, you got to be worried. Yeah, You got to be. I'm, I'm sure he's always he felt that way. He clearly right? knows that this was a cover-up. He knows that it was Ginny. Yeah. So, yeah, he, I, to, to John, yes, he's got what he wants, but he's probably looking behind his back at every move. Yeah. So, guys, we left a really good part for the end. Yes. Morgan yeah. and the Hound. <laughs> I love it how I love the hound. Yeah, I love it how he's got the shirt and he's like, "So how does this work?" And he's just <laughs> he's basically talking to the hound like, "I don't know how this works, but hey, do you do you just smell it?" I love it because you can hear the dog making noise like, uh -huh. mm, "I'm getting it." Yeah. yeah, I got it. All right, let's go. Let's go find this motherfucker. Like, yeah, and he's like, "I guess we go back to the last place that she was." Yeah, who is she, who is she searching for? What? Who is he searching for, Grace? Oh, that was Grace. Okay, I figured that's who he was talking about. Yeah. Um, and he was going back to the Gulch. Um, then he gets sideswiped, and I did not expect it to be the guys looking did not for the keys. Either. I was like, did okay, I, who the hell is did this? Did not either. Um, it gives you uh, an understanding of what that scene. Kind of gives you an understanding about that key. The importance. It wasn't so much that those that those guys 
like were there, right? Yeah. That those guys were there simply to tell Morgan the importance of that key. Yeah. Yes, they died. He killed them, but w the way that he noticed they wanted that key, now he knows. Okay, what's around my neck is highly important. I loved because they were like, "Where's Emil? He's bringing us a key," and he, he Morgan was like. Ginny knows exactly where Emil is. <laughs> His head is in a box. Do you even think they knew about Ginny? And or that's the is thing. this just like a bad situation where they ran into the wrong people? I I honestly don't know because it's... We don't know Ginny's role. It, it seemed like... I, I It seemed like they didn't know who Ginny was because they were only dealing with Emil who was the bounty hunter. But I don't know if Ginny has any connection to that. Emil was the bounty hunter? Emil, that's who they were waiting for. Emil. They were waiting for, okay. So the or guy. Was Emil the guy that was running away from the bounty hunter and the bounty hunter? No, Emil was the black guy, the bounty hunter. So Emil got the key from the one pioneer who escaped. And that's who, that's those, him. That's who the guys are waiting for. So I don't really know if Ginny has any connection to that. Mm. I don't know. It'd be interesting if she does, but I really don't know. It doesn't seem like it because we thought in that other episode where they're talking about the key was in that, you know, walker infested area. There was nothing in it. Yeah. It was just her trying to find out who's the bravest in a sense. But dude, those dudes were got killed. And <laughs> one dude, his guts just bleh. It's They didn't even stand a chance. Oh, I loved it, dude. <laughs> but just the fact of now Morgan's like, what does this open? Well, apparently it opens something in a submarine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, you would think that Jenny has to know about this. It, she has to. Yeah. And, and, It'll and, probably come out later, but... Yeah, I don't think we'll get anything on it right away, but yeah, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. But an amazing episode, guys. We absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. We hope you guys did, too. Once again, we apologize. You didn't get a reaction to this. This would have been a good one to react to. It would have to. been, too. Yeah, but guys, don't worry. We are, we are back into the fold of doing reactions. We're not going to hopefully miss another episode again. Uh, so let us know what you think in the comments. Stay tuned for more. We appreciate the love and support. Give the video, video a quick like if you enjoyed. And come back again. I am Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. out.